Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger, and, well, today, honestly, I think what I want to do... Uh, let's start off... Uh, hey, Super Dodo, I'm going to have to have you come over here. Right? You're, you're going to oversee the progress, and we're going to see what's going on, because today, I think we're going to... Yeah, see? Hey, Super Dodo here. Uh, lean in a little bit. All right. Hey, we're going to take a quick look at this. All right, see, because we've got the Allosaurus over there. And we've got some good allosauruses. And so, pay no attention to the Rexes that are pooping. Okay, dude? Okay, they just won't stop, all right? But take a look at the allosauruses over there, okay? Argents, will you guys please be quiet? Argents, shut up. You two super don't... Uh, what is going on? Thank you. Peace and quiet. All right, thank you. Take a look at the Arge the aloes that we've got over there, all right? We've got three decent ones, but we got to kind of combine their stats. So I want to see if we can actually get a little... I will shoot you. Thank you. All right, take a look at the stats over there, because we've got a couple over there that we need... Yeah, look... Le Shh. Really? All right. But yeah, take a look at the stats over there, because we got a couple stats that we got to mix. All right, here's Super Dota. Let me show you. Here, let's take a look at Daisy. All right, Daisy. She's all right. All right, let's grab Daisy and let's just pull her out of there for a sec. All right, and then we'll grab her saddle. All right, she's got, you know, 540 and, uh, yeah, 314. Not bad. All right, let's take a look at Snarl. All right, Snarl's got 47, 330. He's got higher uh, melee damage. And Chompers has higher health, right? And since they're like this, let's see if we can actually get a little bit of them combined. This is going to be a progressional thing. This is not going to be something I'm going to plan on knocking out in one day. Yeah, I know, right? So Daisy and Chompers, you guys are going to have a good time. That's right. All right. So you guys ready? Behavior, uh, naval mating. All right. Behavior, naval mating. And let's turn you off of picking up. Yeah, yeah, you just need to... You haven't been giving me much health at all, dude. All right, let's just go unfertilized. Only unfertilized, all right? Okay, all right, let's see what we get out of you guys. I bet it's an egg. Yeah, I bet it is. I bet it is. It could be poop. I mean, we have had that before. Okay, Daisy, Chompers, let's do this. Actually, technically, I want to turn you back on to fertilize because I want to see. I want to see your distance because I know we're going to have to go get another one to bug. We're going to have to go get a definitely another one of you just so where we can get a better range because your over the um, your over raptor effect affects everything. But I want to see just how far you can pick stuff up because I don't think it's very far. Okay, I think we need to upgrade our over raptor. We've got an egg. Wrong. Oh, okay, that'll work. We've got an egg right there, and he's right there. Now, he's picked up a couple wrecked eggs for us before, but that's it. There's Argent eggs over here. He's like, nope. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to. Wrong button. We're definitely going to have to go get another one of them. All right, let's see. Right, let's pick this up, and let's go see what we get. Hopefully, it's an Allosaurus. Hey, how you guys doing in here? All right? All right, and apparently, we can throw our egg through the wall. Here, let's see. Can I replicate that? No. But yeah, it was inside the wall on the other. I had to go around the other side to pick it up. Not the most user-friendly thing. All right. Also, we're probably going to have to go do a meat run today. Yeah. Yeah. Junior does a great job with that. Junior or Snickerdoodle, they both do a great job. But yeah, we're starting to run a little bit low in our troughs, so... Yeah, also, I want to go take a look um, over at the Redwoods, because yesterday, over in the Redwoods, I was, I was, I was taking a look at a few different things, and, I mean, while we were looking over there for bees, and, strangely, Megatheriums, I didn't see. I mean, I saw one pair of them, I didn't look at their levels, but that's all. That's the only thing. And normally, over in the Redwoods, they're very common. I want to go see what's up with that. So, also, I mean... Maybe even while we're there, maybe even, uh, you know, I mean, Gigantopithecus is definitely a thing. I would definitely love to take a look at that. And... Eh, 
nailed it! We got an Allosaurus! Alright, let's see. What kind of stats you got here? Alright, oh! Got the hell? We got... Holy! Alright! And you're a male too! Oh my gosh! Alright, alright, so... We... On our first breed, we got the health and we got the melee. Actually, it would be better if it was a female. But you know what? This is fine. All right, now we just have to breed this with the mother to get a female with these stats. So while I thought we were a little bit closer than we were, this is still pretty dang close. Not shabby at all. All right, uh, let's see. I'm not even going to imprint you, but I'm just glad that we got you. All right, follow distance. Low. All right, come here. Come on, baby, hello. Or you get stuck in the wall. All right, that'd be kind of cool. Come on. Yeah, there you. Okay, baby owls look pretty dang cute. Come on. Get you out here into the sunlight. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Oh, all right. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I already gave you all the bacon in my pocket, all right? Okay, uh, let's turn these guys off. Uh, because behavior, disable mating. All right, behavior, disable mating. And you have the saddle, all right? So you can go right back up here. Oh, we just needed a male with the health. Wait, hold on. Wait. Okay, we need a female with those stats. Yeah, the male, that guy's kind of redundant. Actually, we could use that guy for a writer. Yeah. Maybe. I'll see. I mean, honestly, I'll pay a little bit of attention to him. Yeah. Would have been better if it was a, if it was a female. You know. And it would have been better if I would have There we go. See, I'm not going to fall off now. Ha <laughs> ha. I see. Hold on. Can I get through you? Thank you. All right. So, uh, this guy's gonna be raising up there. Do you have plenty of meat here? Uh, we're gonna go have to do a meat run. I will be back after we do a meat run, and then we're gonna go take a look over the Redwoods. I'm gonna grab some kibble. We're gonna do some little something-something, get some stuff done. And, uh, yeah, we're going on an adventure today. All right, where's something to eat? Guys. Is that the level 95 guy? No, I already ate the level 95. You're a level 20 guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then also, all right, come here, meats. I need more bacons in my pocket. Oh, there's an overraptor. What level are you? Yeah, not just gonna. It's yeah, just not gonna work. We need higher level. All right, but we do have plenty of pocket bacon. So yeah, this should be good at least for now. We'll raise this guy up. Honestly, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with him. I mean, granted, we could breed him with the mother just so we have a higher chance because he already has the health, already has the same melee damage, so really there's only one that we need transfer instead of swapping two, um, well, adding two. So granted, this right here will shorten up what it takes for us to do, but with his colors, we've completely outdone uh, the um, Chomp versus colors. So, all right, let's see. How much meat do we got? Look at all that pocket bacon. All right. All right, let's go get this stuff cooked up. Firing up the grill. Oh. Whoa. Whoever I whistle to, stay out there. The grill's just started. I have to let it heat up, all right? All right, yeah. I got to let it heat up. Well, that was Java Chip. Oh, okay. I had, uh, Java, you hung, Java Chip's apparently hungry. All right. Java Chip, I'll give you your steak first, okay? All right, there we go. All right, Java Chip, you get the first one. All right, medium rare, right? All right. Also, now that we've got the bee honey going, we've got everything we need to start actually getting up some vegetable cakes. So we can actually start getting some cakes. So, hey, guys, you guys can start having birthdays now. All right? 
We can actually start making uh, veggie cakes. Yes. All right, uh, Java chip. Hey, you know, I'm just gonna leave you there. And that's actually a good spot, kind of flanking the base. You know, you're looking good. All right, Java chip, you're looking good. I mean, you do have a bunch of my loot on you, which is still good as well. Um, dang, you've got some good loot. That's that's good sword. <laughs> Oh, 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 hold on. I gotta take these. Yeah, I was wondering where those went. Thank you. Oh, Dodicarus. Hey, look at that. We've got a do Hey, uh. Where'd I leave you? Are you over here? See that? Heck of an upgrade, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see what else we got. It means, granted, because I just threw the crap in here. I didn't even take a look at it. I mean, I did some of it, but if it was saddles, it just didn't matter. <laughs> so I was more interested in my needs, my wants. Give me the nice picks and cloth armor and gilly and, you know, give me some nice crossbows. Still didn't get a long neck. I really would have liked the long neck. But, sadly, we didn't get it. Okay, what were we doing again? Snickerdoodle. Oh, that's right. We're going over to the Redwoods. All right, Snickerdoodle. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we don't need those. Actually, those right there, they can go up inside of here. All right, and also, we need to check, uh, look at how much beer we got, because I would love to get a poop cow or three. All right, we got more there. So, we've got, that puts us up at three beer, right? Oh, five beer. Okay, all right. Nice. Nailed it. Guys, a couple more and we can have ourselves be with the cake and the beer. We can have ourselves a real good birthday party. I'm just saying. All right, you ready? All right, baby Allosaurus. Uh, yeah, you're juvenile. You're on the trough now. You're good. Um, take that. Throw that away. All right, let's go grab the kibble. Uh, I think we're down to nine total for that. So, yeah, nine total kibble. Uh, we're running low on argent eggs and how many rex eggs? Down to three. Three re Really, guys? Come on. All right, rexes, you guys need to get down and get busy and quickly, or else I'm going to get ones to replace you. I'm just saying. All right? Hurry up. With the egg laying in the stuff. Alright, also, I'm not taking out a shoulder pet because, I mean, if we see an Archaeopteryx, I wouldn't mind actually getting one. Because I like Archaeopteryx, and I wouldn't mind parachuting across the island. I think that's kind of fun. Alright, let's get over here, and let's go see what all we can do. Uh, let's take over the raft, uh, just to be careful. Uh, because if we find something... That's one heck of an alpha glow in there. Is that alpha or is that loot? Excuse me. Okay, everything. What is that? That's loot. Hey, not bad. Hey, nice pike. We finally got a canteen. And that, and... Sarko, okay, Sarko Saddle. I'll take a Sarko Saddle. I've been meaning to get me a Sarko for a while. Thank you very much. Now, where did I leave the raft? Oh, over there by the dire bear. All right, let's go over and get that, and then let's move our butt over. Another over raptor. <laughs> 85, okay. Oh! You were making those noises to come eat me! Okay. I see how it is, right? I thought we were starting to build up on a rapport there, Mr. Raptor, but no, no. That didn't last long. 
And this is still one of the best spots for Rexes. Just abs. Hi! 55. Okay. That's not a level you see every day. I mean, it's crap, but still. Stop biting my butt! Will you please stop with the butt biting? I'm trying to hit you, alright? Sir! Thank you. But yeah, this spot right here is easily one of the best spots for Rexes. They just constantly spawn. And this is right above the Redwoods across the river. And they're just constant, non-stop. They'll just spawn. You can go in, clear them out, leave the area, come back, and they'll be respawned. Even in ASA. It's really good. All right, Snickerdoodle, we're heading out. All right, I would say mind the rocks, but, you know, it's... I mean, you're probably going to hit at least a couple of them. Just mean, just try not to let them smack your face. And then I'll try to make sure they don't stub your toe. I warned you about this, dude. All right. You let it stub your toe. I know. I know. It's painful. There we go. Moving on. Sorry about your toes, man. Sorry. Really? Thanks. Stupid micro raptors. Okay, apparently one can hit you and knock you off the raft. If you're piloting a raft and a micro raptor hits you, it does stun you. Where did you go, you coward? Suck it. All right. Okay, so that happened. You know, with how tight the area is over here um, to get back and forth on the river, I'm actually thinking about making a second raft because already this raft has come in handy. It has. But taking it through that little bit over there by the peninsula, it's a, it's a bit of a pain. So, I mean, honestly, having one on either side actually seems like it would be a pretty good idea. So I might have to do that. All right, this Carno's over there. Trees right here. Raptors right there. Pteranodons right there. Oh, there's a big foot. Oh, we gotta we gotta scope out this big foot. And he's already gone. Oh there he is, I see him. And he's gone. It's so weird how those guys, they just go in and out of the foliage. And my nemesis. Well. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, they, those they, guys, they blend in so dang well. I mean, so well. I'm going to wait here for a minute. I'm just going to see if I can get him to... There he is, there he is, there he is. I see him, I see him. 35. All right, now that we're getting a little bit closer up here. Oh, there's another one. 40, okay, so 35, 40. It's gonna take us a lot going up that. I mean, level five of Acreman Spawn, you guys could do better than that, all right? All right, so, what is that? Carno. 15. All right, we're going back in level there. What's that? That's a leaf. All right, if you want to be a leaf, just be a leaf, but quit trying to be a dino, all right? I thought you were a carno. All right. The fish just squawk at me? That was a squawking fish. All right, but yeah, uh, getting down here, honestly, the... um. Here, let me show you something. Now, this is one of the things I just wanted to kind of take a look at. All right. Um, the Megatheriums, they spawn anywhere up here in the snow biome. All right. Uh, and they can kind of overlap here on the edges a little bit, like they can wander down into here. But that's, yeah, I wouldn't count on it, but they can do it. All right. Down over like this, over through here. Um, and then also 
all over the redwoods. I mean, everywhere in the redwoods, except for, I believe, right here, they can spawn. So, But I've always had really good luck right along this little ridge right here. And from looking right now, I don't see a single one of them. And then also, you'll find them over here on this little edge right here. And that's what we're going to go take a look at is this edge. Really? You know, you deserve that. All right, but um, yeah, that's what we're gonna go take a look at is that little section over there just because um, when I was over here looking for bees, I didn't see, I mean, I saw a pair of them and that's it. Usually you'll see, you know, and they usually spawn in pairs of two to three. Once in a great while, what is that? Is that, is that a fairy? He is level 10 theory. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. And apparently we need to drink some water. And let's go underneath. All right. That works. Really, Terrorbird? Really? And I'm going to be looking on the left to see if we can see these guys, but I'm just not seeing them. Just not seeing them. Which makes me think, you know, that maybe they just moved their spawn spot. And... Because if they move their spawn spot... I mean, they've kind of like, you know, they're like some of those dinos... Wow, that's a lot that's chasing us. Okay, have fun, guys. Um... I mean, there's a couple different things that are like, you know, old faithful when it comes to it, you know? Certain spawns, and they've remained, uh, you know, pretty accurate from uh, the original. But coming into... That is a big brano in our way. I mean, I don't want to... There's trikes. Oh, there's a baby brano. Okay. Oh, and there's an alpha carno. We may have to... We will probably have to take out that Alpha Carno because he's going to aggro on us. I mean, he's way out in the water. But yeah. You guys still chasing us? No. But yeah, over here on the side. That's very onyx. That's a good thing. I don't know where I was going with what I was saying earlier. I was distracted by myself, uh, which happens a lot. All right, a Bronto just died. Let's see if we can get out of here. That Alpha Carno is going to come chase. Yep, there he is. And we hit a rock. Hello. Out of here. Come on. All right, now this is a precarious situation. There's Baryonyx is over there. There's Microraptors all over this area. There's Baby Rex is right there. I need to make sure I don't get swirled by a uh, Baryonyx. If I get swirled by a Baryonyx, we are toast. All right, let's get over here. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to aggro any Microraptors, but this Alpha has to die. I'm on. All right, you're toast. We got plenty of prime meat. All right, so that'll last us a little bit. Not too long, but... What level are these baby rexes? 22, 20, 20. 20. Okay. All right, can we get back over on our raft? I'll just leave the mommy rex alone, but... It's a tricky jump. Nailed it. First try. All right. On the road again. A Spino. And more Baryonyxes. I don't want... And another Baryonyx. Okay. So there's a... 
Oh, hey, look, Mega Fa Hey! That is not the group I saw um, last time. Group I saw last time, they were brown. Alright, let's... That's only one. Oh, no, there is two. That is two. Yeah, because they usually spawn in pairs. Alright, let's see. I mean, let's get this... Outward. All right. No, no, no. Is that a baby Pego? All right, I've got to do this. Where's that baby Pego? Where is that? Did he disappear? I so wanted to get me a, a screenshot of a baby Pego. I've never seen a baby Pego. Oh, there he is. There we go. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, what level are you anyway? One twenty-five. Oh man! All right, all right. That is funky. All right, let's see. All right, so here's you. Okay, yeah, you're already good. All right, and a thirty-five female. All right, so where was the other ones I saw? Hold on, let's. Alright, because we're taking you with us. Alright, you're coming with us. Oh, this Pego's gotta go. He's gonna pass us. And this guy's already peeved. Alright, so he's gonna be on the rampage for a little bit. And. In his rampage state, while he's eating bugs, he will damage the raft. Actually, you know, we could probably just... You know, we could probably just go like this. Hello! That means he moves a lot faster when he's in that rampage state. Now we just have to wait for the rampage to go down. Because, yeah, I mean, I, I realized that, you know, it would take us a little bit. Wow, 219? Holy crap, dude. You've been working out, haven't you? Pumping iron, hitting the gym, dude. Respect. I see micro raptors up there. Oh, yeah. Or is that a Trudon? Whatever it is, I don't like it, and I want it dead. <laughs> but, yeah, these guys, um, while they're uh, not, uh, while they're enraged, they get enhanced movement speed, damage, damage resistance, everything. It is absolutely amazing, the buff that these guys get. But once it fades, then they start taking normal damage, everything like that, until they eat a bug. Once they eat a bug, they get enraged again, which makes them have superpowers, and it looks like his debuff just faded. All right, so we should be good right here. Let's see if we can get him out. All right, I'm going to be shooting these things into you. They're going to make you a little woozy. All right, once you're done being woozy, then, uh, you know, and while you're, uh, while you're taking a nap, you'll be dreaming of... I believe it's priming. We got prime. We didn't bring any honey, right? No, we didn't bring. I have kibble. 
So I kill. Oh, it's it kibbles the best. It's amazing. It comes out of this bag. I mean, I mean, I I package it in my in at my home myself, but it's really tasty. It really is. It's it's kind of amazing. You'll love it. And I'm just gonna use crossbow the entire time on this one. Cause last time I was a little bit freaked out when when I was taming Mabel. I thought I was doing too much damage to her, but it's just these guys are deceptive. They're lying to you. It's like, oh yeah, I'm almost dead. Look at all the blood. On Ouch, you jerk! All right, they're like, oh yeah, look at all this blood on me. But no, no, it's not. And see, I called this bluff. It bit me. And look at all this though. I mean, they look really beat up. He's not beat up. He's lying to us. Oh. Apparently he hurts. <laughs> that torpor. I, I really should get the magnifying glass to start carrying it with me at all times. Oh, now he's out. All right. Okay. And I'm just going to starve him uh, because this is a precarious spot. You know, I could take him out in the middle of the water. Actually, I should probably take him out in the middle of the water. But there's a bunch of rocks around, so I'm just going to protect the front area of this just to make sure nothing eats him. And I do want to go find the other ones. It's pretty kooky, though. Raptor over here, too, because raptors are just pains in the butt. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. And your buddy. All right, we should be good. Right, I do want to go down there and go... Because the ones I saw, they were down there. Here, let me show you. Handy dandy laser pointer. The ones I saw, because I was over there. I was over there on just probably about 300 yards in that way. Oh, there's bugs. About 300 yards in that way, over by the rooms that go down the uh, um, waterfall area. And just off there, probably about right there, I saw two brown ones. And those were the only ones I had seen. So, it's nice seeing these guys here, though. I was getting a bit worried. Alright, well, hey, we're just going to babysit this guy while he takes his little nap. And then I will bring you guys back here in just a little bit. Okay, can we claim the 125 Pego Baby? Yes, we can claim a 125 Pego baby. So now we got a 187 Pego. All right, come here. You're going inside of here. We'll take you back to base, and we will uh, get you there. Eat up, Sticker Doodle. Right now, I'm just using myself. Because if there's anything out here, it's going to aggro on me. If it won't aggro on Snickerdoodle, it'll, it'll definitely aggro on me. So, it's kind of using myself as bait here. Yeah, we're good. Have to keep an eye on the Gallimimuses, though. Gallimimus is coming close, but we'll need to die. Because Gallimimuses, they have the annoying habit of they'll just... They're running around super, super fast. They'll run right into that Carno over there, aggro the Carno, and then run right to us. Yeah, so just kill the Calamimuses. 
It's really easy. It stops that from happening. All right. Well, this guy's got got potential. What was that? That wasn't no Tyranodon that knocked that thing over. What was it? Was it you? All right, all right, all right. All right! All right, so we got Mabel. This one's gonna be Todd. Just Todd. All right. And we'll uh, fail to mention, uh, well, we won't fail to mention the stupid Microraptor that came up and started snacking on me a couple seconds ago. Hey, Todd, I'm going to take a look at your stats, okay? Don't eat me. Once I can get in there, all right? Hold on. Not bad. 330 um, base melee damage. That's pretty good. All right, let's take you. Let's pop you in here. And we're going to take uh, Snickerdoodle. We're going to go back home. And then also we got to raise up that... Uh... Oh, we got to raise up that Peko Mastax. I need names for the Peko Mast. I don't know what to call him. Maybe we'll call him Little Thief or something. I don't know. Ah. Something of the sort. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see if we can get home. All right, so apparently we got set upon by a uh, terror bird over there. I started eating it, but it's level 150. I got to leave it alone. All right, but yeah, I'm going to get back to base, but I think that's probably where I'm going to end it. I wasn't expecting this just to be the entire episode, but uh, apparently we're out of time. All right, but hey, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm having a ton of fun. I love this game. And I will uh, see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. Uh, yeah, until next time, take it easy, everybody. All right, Mabel. Meet Todd. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you guys were so closely matched in colors. All right, so 5,000 health. And thir thir uh, 330 melee damage. You two will do great. All right, take it easy, everybody. All right, so this little guy right here, that's the pee-pee biter because he bit the pee-pee, and I'm the pee-pee. Plague or foe, all right? So get your mind out of the gutter. Right, take it easy, everybody.